ഹലോ എവറി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് എൽ എസ് ആർ ഡബ്ല്യു ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സി അബൌട്ട് വട്ട് ഇസ് എ ഫ്രേസ് ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് സെൻറ്റൻസ് ഇൻ എ ഈസി വേ വിത്ത് എ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് എ റോബോ സോ ദാറ്റ് യു ഡോണ്ട് വോണ്ട് ടു മെമറൈസ് ഓൾ ദ ടോപ്പിക്സ് യു ക്യാൻ ഈസിലി റിമെമ്പർ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ ഈസിലി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഈവൻ ഇൻ എ ക്വിസ് യു ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് ടു നോ വിച്ച് ഇസ് എ ഫ്രേസ് ഓർ ക്ലോസ് ആർ എ സെൻറ്റൻസ് സോ കം ലെറ്റ് എസ് ബിഗിൻ so what is a sentence before moving on to a, the topic we need to understand what is a sentence so we all know a sentence is a group of word that gives us complete meaning uh let us take an example we take an a uh, baby we let us take a baby so when a baby starts to talk whether it talks uh whether it talks directly like a sentence no it starts talking with a word then two or three words then a sentence so in the same way sentence is framed using words two or three words combined together gives us a phrase but it will not gives us complete meaning then there is a clause and the complete meaning we have sentence so let us know in detail about what is a word phrase clause and sentence so to build a robo normally uh it cannot be built in a day so that uh, it needs so many parts like a head eyes hands legs like that so when all the verb parts are framed then they will fix together so like a, a same way to frame a sentence we need words and then two or three words combined together then we will have a sentence so here you can see the example <coughs> first i have given the words boy paint wall then i want to add some more words to the word boy so i have added a young boy so this is a phrase which speaks about a boy but that is not a complete sentence and that not doesn't give us complete meaning so that comes under a phrase the next word is paint is painting has been painting will be painting must paint all these uh, three all these are phrases the next one is wall on the wall above uh, besides the wall beneath the wall everything will comes under a phrase so when we combine all these phrases together a young boy is painting on the wall it gives us a sentence so now let us see one by one what is a phrase a phrase is a part of a sentence and as i said it has only th- two or three word maximum four words so it will it cannot stand alone and it cannot gives us a meaning completely so it is just a part of a sentence where it helps to frame the sentence but it cannot stand alone and remember that one important point is the phrase in the phrase the subject and the verb will not come together either it will have a subject or it will have a verb both subject and verb it will not come up together if there is a subject and a verb it may be a clause or a sentence so this is the main thing you want to remember about the phrase so you can see the robo here in this you can see the uh, there are words that is uh, the parts parts of the robo head is there hand is there and the body part is there but the leg is missing that is how in this in a uh, phrase either the subject will be missing or the verb will be missing but it has two or three words together so let me give you some example so the same example i have taken boy that is a word i have added few words to that so that is a young boy paint is painting wall on the wall so here a young boy is a noun phrase is painting is a verb phrase on the wall is a prepositional phrase there are two more types of phrases apart from noun verb and prepositional phrases that is adjective phrase and adverb phrase i hope you have already watched the parts of speech story in my youtube channel if you haven't i have given the link in the description box you can also watch that video so next we we'll let us move on to clause so you can see here the robo the robo is complete but there is no charge in it 
so it cannot work on its own so let us think that the, the robo ha- doesn't have any charge in it so the if the robo wants to work it needs the charge so it has all the parts of its body it has head hands legs body everything is there but it couldn't work so that is called as clause the subject in a, in a clause the subject will be there a verb will be there but it cannot act like a sentence it cannot stand alone so it uh, sometimes uh, sometimes the if a clause stands alone it will comes as a simple sentence i can you can also call it as independent clause but the clause will be a part of a sentence okay to understand it let me give you one example so in this i have given two examples i completed my homework the next one is so that i could attend the party so in this two sentences you can see i completed i is the subject completed is the verb then in the next uh, in the next part so that i could attend the party i is a subject again could attend is a verb so in this two parts you can see in both the parts you have subject and verb but the first part is looks like complete the second part is incomplete so that i could attend the party uh it is incomplete so there is a, not a complete meaning in that but it gives some meaning but it is incomplete meaning so that will comes under subordinate clause that is dependent clause where the first one i completed my homework will comes under independent clause when it stands alone uh, with a full stop i completed my homework full stop means that will comes under a simple simple sentence so now when we join these two together i completed my homework so that i could attend the party this is a complete sentence the first part will be the main clause or a independent clause the second pl- part will be the subordinate clause or a dependent clause hope you have understood it next we move on to sentence so here i have given the chitti robo uh, i hope you all know about it 2.0 so in this robo it can think and it can act on its own so that is what a sentence is it is a group of words that gives complete meaning it can have one or more than one clauses so as i said already if a sentence has only one part uh, it will comes under main clause or independent clause or simple sentence then if it has two or more clauses it will it has so many different types let uh, let me give just the name of the types don't want to confuse all those things so the types of sentences based on structures are simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence compound complex sentences so in simple sentence there will be only one clause that is main clause depend, independent clause in compound sentence there will be two independent clauses combined with the coordinating conjunction in complex sentences there will be one main clause and one independent clause uh, there will be subordinating conjunction then in compound complex complex sentences there will be minimum three clauses two independent clauses and one dependent clauses so this is about phrase clause and sentences hope you all like this video so if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you